Hi, thanks for joining. My name is Jordan Bailey and I am a Gel Moment Independent Distributor and today we are going to be doing this woven nail art, is what I'm calling it. I'm going to do my other thumb and finish up my manicure. So to start this, I'm going to take a small dotting tool and I have black. I actually have my black stamping gel as well as Raven's Kiss mixed. I ended up making too much, but you only need a little bit for this. And I'm going to start with adding dots. I'm going to do four dots along the middle of my nail, like so. And I've set it down for the video. On my ring fingers, I only did three dots just because I don't have as much um, surface space. So I just did three rather than the four, and that would be the difference there. Okay, so four dots down on the side, and then I'm gonna do a, another row over here, trying to line up the dots where I already put them. And I'm just doing three since my nail shape curves in, and then the same on the other side. Doesn't have to be perfect, but try to line them up as best as you can so that's where we're at right now I'm just gonna get a cleansing wipe out which I use a lot throughout to clean my tools okay and then I think you could dry or put it through the lamp here but I just went in and with the next step um, using a small striping brush. This is my favorite brush. I use it for everything. <laughs> I'm just gonna dip it in the black and I like to pull while I kind of coat it. That way it keeps a nice long straight line like so. And then we're going to connect our dots. So we're gonna go outside, inside, outside and then I'm just gonna do the last kind of finish those ones off there <clears throat> that one was a little weird but that's okay I'll make it work okay just like that and then you do the opposite over here I guess not the opposite. Sorry. So if this one's curved in, you want the next, the other side to be curved in. So you're gonna, and then if these are curved out, you make this side curved out. Like that. And then over here, we're gonna do the same thing. Curve in. Curve out. <laughs> Finish off the end pieces. Some of them I'm just gonna go back in and fix it in a second before I cure it. I just have um, a different brush here that I'm gonna be using later on, so I'm just gonna clean up some of the spots that are really noticeable. get my brush in there again and now we're gonna do the horizontal lines so we're gonna go inside inside and these ones are gonna be outside And then just finish filling in the rest of the lines that are missing based on the look of the 
lines around it. Feel free to just look at a photo of when I share one so that you can kind of see the end result. It'll help you see exactly where like some of the lines go and stuff. Okay, and I like to finish out the edges just to make it look full finished. That's good. Also, just keep in mind, I have already done three of these. As you can tell, this is my last one. This was my first one, so it's still good. It was a little more sloppy and thicker lines and stuff, um, but I got better as I went, so just keep that in mind for yourself. It's going to take some practice. You could also practice on a nail stick ahead of time. I need some... I'm going to put this in the lamp to cure all that in place, and then I'll go on to my next step. So the next step, I'm using the flat brush that I was just using, and what we need to do is we need to shade. So I have nothing on my brush right now, I'm just showing you. So the way this is, is we need to shade the part that's a, supposed to be going under. Um, you can do some black that's like maybe um thinned out with something but the way i'm doing it because i don't want to have too much black on it because it'll darken the polish i'm doing a slightly darker purple than the base color and i'm actually having both colors on one brush to help kind of blend it into the center so i only want to shade the out or the outer corners of my design So then I have the base color on the inside to help kind of um, blend that shade out a bit. Kind of like that. I'm just going to take a little bit of that. That is now shadowed. And the last step is to add the white highlight. So I'm just going to clean my striping brush to get all that black from earlier off. And I have some white stamping gel here. So I'm just going to get some on my brush. Okay, there's white on my brush. <laughs> And we're just going to follow the curves. Like that. Do a little bit more. Just going to make those stand out a little bit. Good. 
good. That in the link. Alright, and the last step is some clear Recrisky. You could also use <clears throat> Matter Effect if you wanted that matte look. It would look very, very cool with that as well. But I'm going to do um, Glossy today to match the rest of my manicure. Top coat will also help smooth out any maybe imperfections that you had and just give it that clean look. And there you go, our finished woven nails.